There's a few different hints and tips that you can use to help find your pet snake if your pet snake has escaped. First one, do you know when you're looking behind stuff, like behind furniture, behind enclosures, under tables, and it's really awkward, you've got like that much space and you're trying to wiggle your eyes in to have a look, get your mobile phone, just your bog standard mobile phone, open it up, open up the camera setting, set it to video, turn your flash on so the flash is always on, hit record and go down the side of the enclosures. That little gap there will get you in there and get you a full view inside the back of that enclosure. Now a top tip, don't stick it in, look up and down, then bring it back out because you ain't going to get a good view. Stick it in, go all the way down, it's good, take a good 10 second video of behind each piece of furniture and then just sit there and play it back and then you'll be able to see what's behind there. If it's a long stretch like you've got an 8 foot enclosure and you want to check the other side, just zoom in, stick that flat on the enclosure push it down the side and just have a good look that way. That way will help you massively. Just be warned, when you do do that, you will also see all the rubbish, the dust and the dirt that's actually gathered up underneath the back of that enclosure too. I felt quite horrible when I did that. You can do that under sofas, under tables, around the back of enclosure, everywhere. So if you appreciated that tip and it's something that you've not yet heard of, hit the thumbs up button. But number two is look in places that you didn't even know existed. Sorry about my hair. It's haircut day. Take, for instance, my sofa. I'm not going to show you that way because there's a lot of mess. We've got a lot of mess down there. That's all the stuff out of my car. My car is um, getting part exchange for something even bigger coming to the channel. So subscribe to that. You can see I'm moving everything just off here because this is our next one. Let me... Uh, I don't believe I'm doing this for, the, for a video. Right, let me show you the back of the sofa. When popcorn... Just there, my Carl Sunglow Boa Constrictor was having a stretch out. He climbed onto the sofa and actually in the sofa, the back of the cushions, he went down there. I saw him go down there and I thought, you know what? That's a good place for them to hide. And I couldn't get him out. So he physically had to cut out the whole bottom end of the actual sofa to actually get him out. Now, the joy is, it's not just a bog standard framework. He actually cut all this up as well down the side and he went up there. That part was the top cushion. Oh, it's gonna make a bang, it's gonna make a bang. Oh, that was, he was in there. So I physically had to proper get under. That's a place that you wouldn't really expect um, a snake to be. Just whatever you do, don't just grab the snake and try and pull him. You will damage the scales. That snake will not like you anymore. That snake will use you as target practice. Don't grab and pull, just let him go. If you can physically see that snake going down the back of the sofa or down somewhere, let him go and you figure out a way to get the other side to be able to get him out. There's loads of things you can do to actually do that. You can use stuff like this quite comically, really, oh, really big snake hook. That's far too big. I've never had to use it, but I ordered a big one off Swell Reptile and that one came. If only Swell Reptile did sell big ones. But that is a good hiding place for them. Same again if you've got like this bedside cabinets underneath your naturalistic leopard gecko enclosure there's a board under there but there isn't one on the back i found one under there before not in this house not for one of my collection just one for one of my friends now the next one is for your ball python lovers your royal pythons it's a bit about understanding a ball python as a ball python you don't exp you would naturally think he's gone somewhere warm and cuddly he's not going to go into a pile of teddies in the corner of the room corn snakes do that not a ball python. A ball python would go into a really thick, contracted, solid area that's really tight. Why? Because they're trying to retain their own body heat. So they wrap themselves up really warm. Me, when my Charlie escaped, uh, he's in that big naturalistic enclosure down there, link up there and how I built it. When that was up there, he got out the floor. If you watch my TikTok, it's all on there. He got out the back of the floor in his enclosure and into the back wall. And he just contracted himself in that gap. That's where he was. Granted, Come night time, he sort of went all the way down and just pokes his head out down the bottom of the racking system, which is currently over there. So don't sit there and think, what would you do in that situation? Think about what a snake would naturally do in that situation. Feel free to leave a reptile vivarium door open. Even stick a few extra hides in there, so if he does go in there, he's easily got access to loads more different hiding places. Anything to make him feel that little bit more secure, he's going to use it. You might read online to stick a heat lamp outside or stick a heat mat on the floor and that'll attract him. No, it doesn't. Not for a ball python anyway. Corn snake doesn't work. That's an open access area. Say if I set one up just there, it's an open access area. They won't naturally come into those areas to bask on that heat. They just won't do it. How do you know if your snake is still alive if you've not found him in weeks? 
again, there's a simple little piece of information here. If you can't smell rotting dead animal in your house, then that animal is not dead. Think about that. If you can't smell a rotten dead animal, that animal is not dead. A lot of people would lose their snake. I've seen it so many times on forums. And a few weeks later, they just get rid of the enclosure. I don't want it no more. He's, got, he's escaped. He's out. Whatever. That snake is somewhere. Somewhere in your house. Somewhere in your apartment. Your flat. Anywhere. That snake is there somewhere. So if you get rid of that enclosure and then one day it randomly pops up out of like a brumation state, which is what it does. If it's not got the right temperature, he will just go to sleep for a few months. They can live up to a year in just solid brumation. You could have got rid of your setup and everything randomly. That pops, that snake pops its head out and you're like, oh crap, what do I do now? Keep hold of your setup. That snake will be around somewhere. Don't lose faith. Feel free to lose your marbles. Just don't lose your faith though. The next top tip is if you've got a chair... Late at night, so I'm talking after dusk. We'll move that off there. Don't fancy sitting down and getting a prick up my ass. Again, dusk time, darkness, sit down somewhere where your animal escaped. So for me, if he escapes out of the reptile room, I would just sit here in pure silence and I would listen. Now, that animal is going to know that you're in this room. If that animal is in this room, he's going to know that. So he won't move, he won't stretch around, he won't do absolutely anything for a good 20 minutes. And when he's built a bit of confidence up, he's going to make a, a movement. Now, that movement may just be a scurry. He may be trying to squeeze through some little bags underneath the rack. He may knock a hide. You'll hear some movement. That movement will bring your attention to whatever area that movement actually was. It could be a box that's moved. That's a good little tip. Yeah, so when you've heard that noise, you know he's still here. That will build your faith up, and then you can start looking in that room. Keep in mind, though, that snake is going to be cold. He's going to be in a brumation state. He's going to be a lot slower. It may take a bit longer for you to actually hear something. It may take a bit longer for him to actually move. But he will move and he will move extremely slowly. That makes him a bit clumsy when he does move. Just be quiet and patient. You will hear some sort of noise. And stick some little boxes just on the side of the enclosures. Now for some snakes, they are arboreal. They like to climb. So stick some boxes up the side. If you come down the next morning and poof, that's on the floor, you know he was up there. He was there, right, so he's, he was there then, so I would concentrate looking around here. You will find your animal. The snakes, they're not the fastest creature in the world. They are quite clumsy, especially clumsy climbers. They will knock things over, push against things to try and see how secure that item actually is. So he come put all these little plots in place and you're gonna find your pet snake. Laying bits of food down, that doesn't work. I've heard it so many times. Oh, I've left a rat out for him and he hasn't had it. He won't go and get it. He, like I say, he doesn't want to come out into the open to catch that rat. You're just going to cause yourself German disease throughout your reptile room and it's going to stink and it's just not going to be very nice. Let me know in the comments if you've had a pet snake escape. How did you find it? Have you got any more tips? Anything like that? Because anybody who's watching this video who's searched how to find a pet snake, they're going to go down in the comments and have a look at all your answers and that's going to help them find a pet snake as well. So by now, you've found your pet snake, or you're going to find your pet snake, or put it into place. The next thing you need to do is figure out how he escaped. Is your vivarium wall um, not secured? Secure it. Did he go out of a vent? How did he get out the vent? For me, my Charlie, when he escapes, we had these like fake plant sort of stuff, and we had that little hook on the top hooked through the vents. He's tried to climb that, it pulled the vent out. Don't do that. Secure your vents in place. However, your pet snake actually did escape, secure that area so it can't happen again but then the biggest tip of them all and this is the big one if it's helped you subscribe